New controversial hate crime laws will go into effect April 1st in Scotland. Their purpose is to better protect people from hateful speech, including online. But critics of the law say it infringes on freedom of expression. The law will criminalize threatening or abusive behavior, which is intended to stir up hate against someone because of their age, religion, sexual orientation, and transgender identity. The hate crime can be verbal, physical, or digital, meaning hate speech online would become a criminal offense. Scotland police releasing this video ahead of the law taking place, reminding people to keep the hate monster at bay or pay the price. You might know this thing here. It's the hate monster. Before you know it, you've committed a hate crime. Don't feed the hate monster. Scotland authorities have pledged the hate crime laws will be enforced to the fullest extent. Police say they'll investigate every complaint it receives. And allegations can be made anonymously too. One complaint has already been filed ahead of the law going into effect in two weeks. It was against J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, who has been vocal in her criticism of the transgender movement. Rowling called transgender TV broadcaster India Willoughby a man when the broadcaster identifies as a woman. Rowling said in a post on X, quote, If you genuinely imagine I delete posts calling a man a man, so as not to be prosecuted under this ludicrous law, stand by for the mother of all April Fool's jokes. Local police say Rowling's comments did not meet the criminal threshold for prosecution, but Willoughby posted, The law is absolutely on my side, but it has been so disappointing to see the police refusing to prosecute fully. I suspect because it's J.K. Rowling and the Home Secretary and Daily Mail would be calling for their heads. Power made them bottle it. Enforcing the new hate crime laws has been a concern from the start. The Scottish Police Federation, which is the union that represents police officers, called it a recipe for disaster, saying police are already overwhelmed even before the new law takes effect. The training was vague, according to the union spokesperson, and they worry online insults will flood their phone lines.